Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on a MacBook Pro 15 inch model. This here is A1707. If you're not sure where to look for the model number, go ahead and flip your laptop in the back and you can see here it says A1707. This is a 2016, also the 2017 model here. Okay, so let me show you the screen my crack screen uh, just so you know that if you have the same model like mine do the MacBook Pro with the touch bar and that should be the right uh, model for you so if you oops I think the uh, the battery just died let me reopen it up again so if you take a closer look here on the top left corner you can see that the retina display has pixelated vertical lines and the screen is totally damaged so even if it's a small little crack you would have to replace the entire screen you can't just replace the screen by itself in fact you would have to replace the whole panel here the top cover with the uh, lcd screen all right so let me go ahead and um, pull some of the tools that i need to use in this repair so i have a plastic prying tool a metal prying tool uh, this is 0 0.8 torque screws i believe is called torque pantalope screwdriver uh, the head here looks like a flower and the rest of it is torque so there's a t3 torque 3 t4 torque 4 t5 torque 5 and this is the uh, t8 uh, torque 8 all right so these are the tools that i need for the repair and if you're not sure where to buy them, I'll link them in the description below. If you can go to, uh, the, the link will direct you to Amazon or eBay. Uh, I have them linked in the description below. Go ahead and click them, uh, direct you directly to the website and get your tools and get your parts and follow along with the video for this repair. All right, so the two pantalope screwdriver on the top, left and right, I just removed them and there are four here at the bottom let's go ahead and remove the four screws at the bottom as well the screws are not the same so make sure you do not mix match them especially the two screws on the top the rest of it at the bottom here you can mix match them because the screws are all the same all right once you have removed that what you want to do is you want to get a prying tool if you don't have one um, try to i don't know do something about it and what you want to do is you want to pry open the uh, uh the back plate a little bit and there is a little uh, clipper here where you want to pop it okay let me show it to you again so you get a metal prying tool tuck it underneath try to find the opening for you all right so here's the opening what i'm doing is i'm using my fingernail underneath the back plate and i pop it so there is a clipper right here you need to pop it Okay, you hear that little pop, which is good. Walk around your way, come around here, and pop the other side. So let me go ahead and pop it up for you. So once the thing is popped, and now you can slide the back cover down. So what you want to do is you want to push the bottom, bottom part here. So I'm pushing the laptop here. Push it away from my body. The same time I'm using my index and a thumb, pulling the back plate down towards my body. So push and pull at the same time. Okay, so take a closer look here on the top right. Push and pull the same time. That's how I pull the back plate down. You want to do the same on the other side. Okay, that's how you remove the back plate. The reason is because this right here is the hinge that's sliding to hold the uh, the back plate. And this the both side here on, on the left and right is the clipper that, that I did the pop thing for you earlier. All right, here is your laptop. Let's take a quick look here on the tour. What do you see on your laptop? Here is your battery. So all the batteries is in here. Uh, your both speakers left and right. CPU fan. If it's dirty like this, go ahead and use the A can duster, dust it, clean it out. Your CPU is here. The, um, the storage hard drive and the RAM is here. You can't upgrade or uh, you can't upgrade the RAM pretty much. So that's what it is. Okay. So before we continue the uh, the process of the repair screen, um, if I 
me ask you a favor go ahead and hit the likes and subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, thanks for doing that i really appreciate if you have any question comment below i read your comment and i do answer your questions okay and also one thing comment below and tell me how did you do on your repair were you able to follow along the video or not uh, this is something i like to hear from you so go ahead and do that for me please and next thing you need to do is to remove this plastic cover once you remove it we want to disconnect the battery all right so this is a little uh, plastic right here go ahead and peel the plastic off okay be very careful peel the plastic off and there is a little secure clipper right here go ahead and pop it up it only pop up to 90 degree angle once you pop it pop it to 90 degree angle go ahead and slide the cable to your left slide it to your left and that's how you remove this cable right here okay so once you remove the cable leave it on the side here i want you to use the t3 remove this screw and once you remove the screw lift it up a little bit all right just a little bit here so what happened is that the battery and the connector is held on by the screw once you remove the screw screw sorry once you remove the screw open up slightly so you have a little gap and that gap would uh, um, disconnect the battery from turning it on all right that's how you disconnect the battery now let's go ahead and process with the uh the screen replacement here right so the first thing i like to do is to get a t3 go ahead and remove all the screws at the bottom here Do not mix match the screw because the screws are not the same. So these two screws here, hold on to this bracket. Oops, the bracket just dropped. This bracket, make sure you save the bracket and put it on the side. Continue remove the other two screws. Alright, once you have done that, go ahead and remove this bracket. There are two screws. Let's hold on to it. I'm still using a T3. And once you remove the two screws, remove the bracket, what you want to do is get a plastic prying tube, pry open the LCD connector. <coughs> so this is the LCD connector that connects to the LCD board coming from the main board into the LCD board. So this is the connector disconnected. They're kind of like a Lego is snap on. What you want to do is to get a plastic prying tube, go underneath, pry it straight up. All right, so this one is run on a T4. This, this one screw right here holds onto your Wi-Fi. Now you want to pay very careful attention to this Wi-Fi because you do not want to um, break the connector or dislocate the connector because it's, once you damage the Wi-Fi, um, you would have to change the whole entire logic board or have somebody to fix the Wi-Fi connector. But anyway, get a plastic prying tube, tuck underneath the cable and lift it straight up. All right, do the same thing for the second cable. And the final cable, the third one. All right, so I lift all the all three cables up um, I believe two of them are for Wi-Fi and one of them is for your Bluetooth. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue with the um, screws here. So what I want to do is to use a T5. T5. These four screws. One, two, three, four. These four screws are hold on to the LCD uh, board right here. So the four screws holds on to the LCD board. Okay. Now this rest of other screws here are your Wi-Fi antenna screw. Let's go ahead and use the 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Um, 
the size. It looks like a torque, like a star. Be very careful with the Wi-Fi antenna screws. They are really small and they can be easily stripped. So make sure you have the right tools, the right patient. Do not slip your screwdriver and by accidentally strip the screw. So have a firm grip on it and uh, a little bit of luck because a lot of people at this point they might have stripped the screws already Alright, if you're still following the video, so far you've been doing great. We are almost there. Once we are get onto the uh, the difficult part, the rest of it are pretty straightforward. I'm not sure where did that go. I think it just popped and run away. See, I just missed one of the Wi-Fi screws. I think it, sh oh, I found it right here. That was lucky. Okay, let's move on. And the next step is T3. Go ahead and remove this black bracket, plastic bracket here. We want to expose the hinge. So remove this bracket. Remove this bracket. Now get your T8. Remove this. Remove this. There are three screws holds on to the, uh, the, the laptop hinge. The screen so go ahead and remove that six screws three on each side of it all right once you have removed that what you want to do next is to play uh, pay close attention to here the Wi-Fi antenna is ready to be removed now as you can see that the um, there is a little clipper right here. This metal clipper here clips onto the base of the uh, the laptop. So when you remove it, it may be quite difficult to remove it. So you need to put some pressure to remove it. Okay. So what I like to do is I lift. I'm holding onto the one part here, and the same time I'm holding onto that. Now what you want to do is. Okay, that was easy. So for me, it was easy. Maybe for you, it might be a bit of a challenge. But once you have that Wi-Fi antenna loose, do not pull out yet because the cable right here is still attached to it, right? It still go underneath this bracket. So what you want to do is you want to slide all the cable away from your body and go that direction. So go ahead and slide it, pull it. So as you can see, I'm stuck. So what I do is I usually wiggle. All the way it comes out all right so let's put the wi-fi on the side we already removed that we already removed the hinge okay so this is the lcd board and it comes with this two little uh cable as well i'm not sure what these cables are but i'm sure it's important so we're going to remove the entire lcd with that okay so what i like to do is i like to open up my laptop screen now so let's go ahead and open it up Okay, I'm opening it up all the way 90 degree angle and maybe push slightly more than 90 degree and I'm going to slide the hinge away from the 
the connector i mean away from the base slide it out do the same thing on the other side now you just remove the entire screen so do it on both sides right there so you just remove the entire screen okay so here's the screen and i can put the screen on the side now let's bring in the new screen here like i said i have the the new screen link in the description below you can buy them on amazon or maybe on ebay uh, go check it out and it will direct you to the to the to the right location and if you feel like the link doesn't work send me and uh shoot me a comment and uh, i'll go ahead and check it out later so let me open up the hinge flip it up to 90 degree angle So what the best way to do is to stick it in a little bit and then start pulling down. That is the easiest way to do it. Okay, so once you open the hinge all the way to the back, what we want to do is pay, pay close attention to this cable. One cable for the uh, whatever that is and then the LCD uh, cable as well. So make sure you flip it all the way to the back because this is where you do not want them to be clipped onto the uh, the uh, the uh, the laptop anyway. So flip it all the way to the top. Make sure it goes above it, above it, above, above, above. Okay. So what what I would like to do is, oops. You get the idea. So go ahead and make sure the cable is is above the the thing okay and okay so the next thing i like to do while i'm holding the computer let me get one of the screw that holds the hinge we need to close the screen so we can work so just put one screw for now and let it hold okay now before i do the other one i like to make sure this cable is all the way pulled and all the way on top the uh the laptop here okay so they're in the right position let me come back here and put the one screw on the other side of the screen here. So that we can close the LCD. Okay, so once that is done, let's go ahead and slowly close the LCD. Close it. And one, what, what you want to do is to make sure that all the cables is free and it's long enough to close it, right? So if you take a closer look here, you want to flip that little springy thing and then make sure it can close it. All right, so I think we did a good job. Oopsie. Now I'd like to come back and finish the rest of the, uh, the screw here on the hinge. So we're not making a mistake here. Close it down. So how are you doing so far? Are you still following along with the video? If yes, go ahead and pause the video. And tell me yes. If not, tell me why. <laughs> All right, so here's the important part. This is your Wi-Fi antenna, and you can see that we need to stick this Wi-Fi cable back in to this tiny little hole here. So we want to stick it in, all three of them. And you can slightly see the exposing coming down from this side of the hole. So while you're pushing it in, the same time is you want to uh, dig the Wi-Fi out. So make sure that the Wi-Fi goes above on top of the motherboard here. So make sure it's on the top. I know this is not the most pleasant way to do it, but 
be patient and once you get it in it's pretty straightforward now once you sit in so what you want to do is you want to make sure you align the wi-fi antenna make sure they're nice and snuggle tuck all the way in get your teeth full put that screw back in so i want to secure this screw right here first okay and then what i like to do is work on the wi-fi um what you want to do is make sure you do not break the wi-fi connector take your time no rush uh what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to align I just loose the screw up a little bit so I have room to play by moving in and out a little bit. Uh, what I like to do is to align the connector. They're kind of like Lego, but very tiny Lego. Once you align them in the right position, what you want to do is you just press it and it will snap in very easily. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to push it in. Once they're in the right location, they will just snap in into it very easily. All right, so make sure I align the Wi-Fi antenna, push it all the way in, come back and tighten that screw so that the Wi-Fi cable doesn't move at all. All right, so that is done. Perfect. Now, this is the boring part. We can go ahead and put all the screws back in, all these tiny little screws back onto the Wi-Fi. It's a boring job, but take your time. We're going to get there. You can fast forward at this point because I'm not going to do much of the talking. It's very straightforward. You can just um, you can just uh, put all the screws back in very straightforward. So there will be less talking. And uh, if you want to fast forward, go ahead. But I will just focus myself and get this thing all screwed back in.
all right welcome back i'm just done with all my screws let me know if you beat me in time or did i beat you in time by doing the wi-fi antenna just comment below silly me just a you know something to throw it out there but yeah just take your time don't rush we are not racing here so let's go ahead and uh put the lcd board back in remember that big four screws so they are the big four screws i think they run on the t5 right so go ahead and screw the uh, board back together one here Okay, so this is the last screw for the board. Once I have the board installed, now the next step I like to do is to install that LCD connector right here. Okay, make sure you align them in the right position, straight by the screw, press it down. That's how you install it. Now the next step is to install the bracket, right? So do not forget your bracket here. They run on a T3. If you are still with me so far, great. We are almost done. We can test out the screen just a moment later. So we are almost done. Now let's go ahead and secure that cable as well. Same screw, T3, go in. Perfect. Now what I like to do is there are four screws, right? This little plastic thingy thing. So go ahead and put it in. all right so we have everything installed do not forget your little plastic here this one is to cover the hinge right so let's go ahead and put them back in as well before i almost forgot so they are t3 again a tiny screw t3 two screws on each side of it go ahead and put it in perfect Let's go ahead and put the other side here. Okay, so finally, the last step you like to do is to install the reconnect the battery, right? So put one screw here. And that one screw is to come on. Okay, got it back in there. So this cable right here, make sure that clipper is open. You need to make sure the safety clipper is open. Align that thing carefully. Do not break this because we have done all the hard work. And this is your final step. So don't break it. Take your time. I'm feeling nervous here as well because I'm trying to film at the same time not to break things. 
all right i slide it all the way into the right and now i can safely close that clipper down push it down and then make sure the tape is secure now get this thing this little black tape cover that up gonna slide it back in right so make sure you align it on the top right corner here have a right alignment in place you have to make sure that it's aligned properly and once you do that and just slide it in align with on the other side here slide it in as well push all the way in okay and then press it on both sides just clip it down now you can put all the screws back in two screws on the top they are slightly longer and two screws are uh, four screws at the bottom but before i do that four screws at the bottom let's take a quick look hopefully I have enough juice to power up the screen. Anything? Nothing? Well, at least we know that the battery, we need to charge. So at least we have a nice display. Earlier we don't have a display. Earlier we just funny little color on the top left. But at least we see that the battery says, no battery, please charge me up. So that is a good sign. Um, other than that, I think I'm pretty confident the screen replacement was a success. And um, if, you, if you follow along the video, comment below. Let me know whether that uh, you were able to change out the screen by yourself. Uh, if you feel like this video is helpful, please like and subscribe and I really need your support for doing that and I appreciate you for doing the like, smashing the like and subscribing it uh, and if you have any question, comment below. I will read your comment and I'll get back to you shortly, uh, maybe like a few days, hopefully sooner than a few days. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, again, uh, do not forget to like and other than that, I wish you luck on your repair and uh, yeah, thank you. Bye now